Hello everyone, this is Shadow 3 with a special Remembrance Day stream. Seeing as it's Remembrance Day, and Remembrance Day is all about remembering the horrors and sacrifices of war, particularly World War I, I figured it'd be quite appropriate to do at least a short Let's Play of the only World War I game I can really think of off the top of my head, which is Red Baron. I think it's also kind of appropriate, being that in World War I, aerial fighting was extremely difficult and fraught with lots of people dying, because... These were basically just you know, the Wright Brothers planes thrown up with a bunch of machine guns on them just set up so that they wouldn't blow off the propellers. And that was basically it. I mean, it was slightly better than the Wright Brothers' initial prototypes, but it was pr basically small bits of cardboard and canvas or wood and canvas that happened to be aerodynamic with, an in with a car engine and a couple guns. Really basic, but really, really, well, as, as a result of being basic, really hard to not die doing. Anyway, it's going to go through career mode, just figures that seems most appropriate, and given that I am Canadian, I'm going to go with the Royal Flying Corps, seeing as at the time the Canadian military was a subset of the British military. I suppose, hmm, for this purpose, I... Guess I'll use my real name. No. No. So, we shall begin... Hmm. Yeah, let's start in the middle of the war. Not the most eager, but we are definitely ready to fight and die for our country. So we're starting out at nor northern part of the Western Front. Looks like it's just about the border of France and Belgium, actually. So my squadron is... Well, no one particularly special. Let's see where we are here. So we are... Yeah, pretty far south of the... Well, of the English Channel, at least. But we are kind of northern midway along the Western Front. And we are, I think this is actually pr pretty close to the Battle of the Somme, actually, which would be taking place fairly soon. It's 1916 already. If it hasn't taken place already, it's, I know it's sometime this year that the Battle of the Somme takes place, which is extremely devastating. Anyway. Don't have a personal aircraft yet, so we'll just fly next mission. Only thing you really do. But first off, we shall be fighting in a dogfight. Start from the aerodrome, so as you can see, a German fighter squadron has been flying above our territory, sector E6, and it's wreaking havoc on recon planes, which is basically what the planes were largely used for in World War I, was reconnaissance for the trenches. Orders are to find and shoot down the enemy squadron. We start at the Bertencourt aerodrome, at F5 proceed to E6, going northeast for 9 miles, and find the enemy to shoot it down. Let's see here. I am second in command. Well, not bad for a complete rookie. And just double checking the realism. We are not fully realistic. Does it seems to me that it really should be as realistic as possible if we're going to be doing this in remembrance. Like, there's no point go doing it and simulating it if we're not going to do it as it was done. So beginning at our aerodrome. Taken off and let's 
get out the ground here and join up the flight. Because they're actually getting ahead of me. I'm getting out of formation! Hold on! Wait! Oh, I feel such like such a rookie. And I am such a rookie, but... I'm not... Okay, this is embarrassing. Let's get our airspeed up. There we go! Now I can join the flight. Although, admittedly, I am not looking that confident. This is a pretty bad job my first day. Okay, my flight should be right above me. Yeah, they're right above me, and that doesn't look good at all. Okay, well this is embarrassing. And we're actually going west. It should be heading northeast. I need to keep up with my flight. Where are... Okay, they've probably already gone northeast. Let's just get going. I'm only 200 feet off the ground, though. This is not... Oh wait, no, sorry, I'm 2,000 feet off the ground. That's slightly better. And there is my flight. And they're probably not going at full throttle, so I should be able to catch up with them. But, man, this is embarrassing. Dominic Renault is not going to go down in history as one of Canada's great flying aces if this happens like this. Okay, immediately that part's maybe a little bit disingenuous, but frankly I couldn't really think of what other name to throw in spur of the moment. Let's see, I was in position two, so I should be right in between these two guys here. Apparently there's a strong wind going to the right. Well, going I guess southeast would be really where it's going. Alright, come on, squad. I'm nearly caught up to them, but I still feel really embarrassed. Something like court martial for this, though. It's not nothing near serious enough, but certainly going to have some bad looks around the mess hall and, and the barracks, and they're going to be they're going to be laughing at me for months. Like, oh, to see the dominant guy, he doesn't even know how to fly a plane. Oh, those silly French Canadians! They don't know how to do anything. I know. I understand they're allies, but <laughs> seriously. Have you seen what they do in the air? They can't do anything at all. Yeah, they're going to be laughing at me for months. Well, at least I have caught up. Maybe I can prove myself once we get to the actual front, although it's still probably another eight miles at least. Maybe seven if we're lucky, but... Well, speed it up a bit. Time compression on, and no, they haven't actually throttled down much at all. I am on level with them, though. Where? Oh, come on. Are you below me? No. Yeah, I don't know where. Okay, my flight is still in the clouds, so that's where they've gone. Get back here. No. Hold on, is that... Yeah, there's the, okay. There is our enemy, getting shot at. They're shooting at our the squad leader and some of my compatriots. But I think I can, ha, show them. I'll save one of our guys. I think. Prove my worth. And, oh wait, no. I, I think I just. No, I'm good. Okay. Just throttle up and hopefully I don't get in any trouble from that one. Where are those? Where are the German guys there? Should be here somewhere. On you. How about you? I, oh, you're over there. Ha, but you're facing away from me. And I, Did they just shoot down one of my guys? I think they just shot down one of mine. I'm not sure, though. I'll just... Well, no, I... No, he's alive. He's smoking, though. He's not looking great, but he is alive. And this guy hopefully soon will not be... Oh, I'm too close. I'm too far away. Ah. Where'd he go? There. Oh, darn it! Get back here, you! I will have you. Oh, good. The sun's out of my eyes. I can actually see now.
Right, I think I have a good position on him. But how is the rest of us doing? Is this the last guy? I think this is actually the last guy. Though, granted, that's kind of embarrassing that I didn't really do much, except maybe kill one guy. Oh, darn it! I, I thought I had him. Oh, actually, I think he's behind me. Crap. But I do have another squadron member left. We haven't all died. Admittedly, I haven't done too much at this point. Okay, just double check. We don't have anyone around. Ha! Ah, my other squadron member is getting, getting into position. Should be okay. Just... Oh, darn it. That was unwise. 8,000 feet is a decently safe place to stall, but not that safe. Crap, getting to a spin here. Where is... Okay, now... Overshot him. But he's to my right. I will have him. Although my... Okay, my squad mate is actually doing a pretty good job as far as I can tell. So, we should be okay for this fight. I think we do have him. I'm going for these really hard side shots too. That's probably a bad idea. Wait, I think I might have... I almost have a beat on him. Come on. Wow, this guy is really... This guy's pretty good. Or, no, he's never mind. He's just been nearly shut down. Going for the barrel roll... Or, not barrel roll. Going for the loop to try to get out of there, but... I was going to say M1 roll for a second, but he wasn't going for that. He actually is just going for loops. Trying to get out of there. Doing a pretty decent job of that, but... I think he's down. Uh, not quite. My squad mates just about finished him off. So that means that I really haven't done anything to prove myself at this point. Uh, darn it, get back here. Okay, this last German pilot is definitely a worthy opponent. There's no denying that. This guy, he's good. He's really good. And with a worthy opponent, just means a worthy battle. Although, admittedly, I'm not fighting that battle. I'm just... Where... Where did they go? Oh, they're below me. Alright, well, I guess I'll just have to s circle down a bit. Don't want to go too fast. Are they still below me? No, they aren't. They are currently to my right. Ah, I see him. Alright. Oh crap, he's... Wait, we're on the eastern side of this... of these trenches. The flat guns are going to start getting us, I think. Oh no, never mind. They would have gotten us before. They tend to top out about 7,000 feet. And we're at a little under 4,500, so we should be good. So wait, are our flat guns here? They're right at the trenches already. Come on. Oh wow, that I think he's trying to get us into the ground. Yeah, the German pilot looks like he's trying to get us to drive into the ground and There we go, he's down. Not for me, but he's still down. I think that's everyone. I think that's their entire flight. I believe we're good. There we go. No thanks to me, but hey, that's at least something. And land safely, and we did lose two. But we succeeded, at any rate. I didn't... I have to try harder next time. And no changes, no further races or anything like that. And my record is... pretty uneventful. Well, next mission. Balloon defense, oh dear. We'll have to fight off some German forces trying to get a reconnaissance balloons, and... Keep our balloons alive, otherwise that means they're just going to have a much easier time getting through our front. You do not want that to happen. Oh, should I check my flight assignment first? I think I'm still position 2, but I'm not sure. Are there... 
Wait, where are they? I don't see... Okay, there's my wing. Should keep up with them. Because that's kind of how this all works. You kind of keep up with your squadron. Especially since they are going towards the balloons, and the balloons are what we need to protect. Get those things defended, make sure that no one gets at them, because if those balloons go down, then it's just harder for any reconnaissance to be had, any knowledge of what's going on in the other trenches or beyond the trenches. Because, of course, World War I was largely fought in trench warfare. I mean, there was a period at the beginning and the end where there was much more movement, but there's a long period in the middle, which is when we are now, where it was just a bunch of trenches. People in the trenches, and occasionally they'd send people over the top, essentially to their deaths, which is a terrible part of World War I, was the way trench warfare tended to work out and... Crap, spinning out! Wait. Oh, great. Well, this is a... Is this the end of me? Yeah, I think it is. I'm, I'm done. I... Wow. This is what I mean by the whole, it's really easy to die in World War I air fights. Well, that was... That was the short-lived career of Dominic Renault, the pilot. So I'm dead then. Huh. Apparently my joystick's also causing problems. Okay, well, at any rate... I suppose I should probably start another career, and maybe that will work out a bit better. But I will need to restart the game, so just bear with me for a second. Oops. Or... Ah, crap. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what's with this joystick setup. It's just for some reason causing it to think that it's moving when it's not. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Back to normal. So let's start another career at the... Try the tail end of the war. I'm not sure what to do. Let's try a hmm, fictional name. I don't know if there's anyone, any suggestions for fictional names, but this possibly not the case, so I shall just type in a random name. I guess I wouldn't really Kyle's actually at the time. Hmm. Well, whatever. Kyle Langley. Oh, British man this time, rather than the French me. That is me. Okay, number three squadron at Saint Marie Capel. We will be. We don't have much of a pilot record. Kind of coming in late in the war. Probably white feathered into getting this going. I think. Okay, I think white feathering was a World War One practice where women would go around giving white feathers to men who hadn't enlisted. So, I think that's World War One. If it is, that's probably what happened to this guy. Okay, two of us. And SU five A's. Hmm. I don't know which choice for that one. Oh wait, I didn't see the mission briefing. Crap. Well, anyway. Oh, it's an escort mission. All right. Bomber escort. I'm getting ahead of my squad mate here. I think there's some wind to the right right now. I'm having a hard time staying level. At least staying straight. Okay, there we go. Get myself back in formation. I don't see any enemies on the horizon so far, but I do know we need to be careful. We need this bomber to actually deal some dam. Oh, whoops. This bomber to actually deal some damage. Not sure if we're going past the trenches into a factory, or if we're just bombing down the trenches trying to get rid of an artillery gun or two. Just to make it much easier for our infantry to get through. I 
And there are the German fire fighters trying to shoot down our bomber. Oops. Let's get at them. Oh wow, nice shots there. Ah, darn it, I almost had him. Come on, get over here. I will... I'll have you. Wait. Ah, darn wind. Because I think there's wind going on here. Darn it, they've already got a bomber smoking. I'll hit the fuel lines. Looks like he's going up another pass. Where is he? Crap. Been hit. Oh, he's on my tail. Shoot. And my only hope is to go for a roll. Not a roll, sorry. A, a loop. Let's if I can get behind him. Oh, crap. Hit my oil lines. That's not good. I didn't have enough speed to pull off that maneuver. Is he still behind me? Yes, he is. Oh. Wow, I think I, I think I lost him. Nope, he's still on me. I'm now the flight leader. Oh crap, I'm on my own. Well, now there's some time to shine. Got no choice. Well, that or death, actually. So there's some choice. But I don't like the other choice, so let's just go with not dying. Am I out of oil? Ah, shoot. Yeah, my oil's really low. I think I'm just gonna have to call this one. Try to limp back to base, there's no winning this for me. Now, hopefully this is on the west... Oh, shit! No! Not! Oh! Once again, I have died. Well, that was kind of the point. Demonstrating how easy it is, or easy it was for people to die in World War One. And we failed, too. Once again, an ignominious career for Kyle Loren. Well, I think that's going to be it for this. I hope you enjoyed that, and... Well, don't forget. That it's... Well, war sucks, basically. Yeah. That's kind of the point of Remembrance Day, is to remember that war is pretty bad, and people died terribly in order to... basically... win said wars. Anyway, thank you for watching, and have a good night, everyone.